This is Monkey. I had a few troubles with my rib um, video, so somehow the beginning got lost. So I'm doing the beginning again. Hopefully this works out now. And I'm just basically going to go over the res recipe a little bit with you um, so you know what ingredients I put in. So this is what I did. I put a whole bottle of barbecue sauce in. And as you see on the video, I layered it. And it, it's later in the video. I put seasoning salt in there. And I did a rub. So what I did, I took the seasoning salt and the garlic. And I used a tablespoon of each. You can make it to your own taste and how many ribs you're putting in the crock pot. And I also put salt in there. And I put um, ground pepper. I mixed it up in a bowl. And then I put it on the ribs. I rubbed it in. And then I, as you will see on the video, that I cut it in, in fours. And I put it in the crock pot. And as I was putting it in the crock pot, I layered the barbecue sauce in between. I put some on the bottom and in between the ribs. I also put some hot sauce in there because Shea Bear likes the hot. So I did that for him. And I hope you enjoy my video. I'm sorry that it got messed up. Don't know why. But hopefully you enjoy it. And let me know how you like my ribs. Thank you. Bye. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of barbecue sauce on the bottom of the pot before I put my ribs in there. And that will help moisten the bottom ones and make it more tastier, I hope. And then I'm going to cut this in half so then I can layer it in the crock pot. And I will put barbecue sauce in between. So we'll have the barbecue sauce um, all over it. I'll be right back. Okay, as you can see, I cut them into fours. Um, just cut it where, you know, this in between the, the spaces of the bone. It's not too hard to do. Um, I can't really show you at the same time because I don't have a tripod for my phone, which I need. And um, so I have to keep turning it on and off. So hopefully, maybe I get one one day and be able to leave it up so you can see a little bit better. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the biggest one and put it on the bottom. And I'm going to put it on the bottom of the barbecue sauce that I have already put in there. And then I'm going to pour some barbecue sauce on top. And just enough, you know, to get it going. And I'll spread it around so it makes it look, you know, help it out a little bit. Okay. Now this is not a very big one. Um, you know, so it won't probably take too long to cook. I'll probably keep it in here on slow for about seven to eight hours. Um, you know, to get some flavor. And by the time I get back, it should be pretty well ready to go. And, uh, we'll just keep doing this. I'm going to layer them up one by one and put barbecue sauce in between. And I'm just layering it on top and just spread it around, you know, just to give it a little bit of help. Now, this is a very big crock pot, you can probably move it around. If you have a smaller one, probably work a little bit better with this one, or you can have a lot more barbecue sauce. I mean, ribs. And I'm just going to pour some more on this one. Let's see. I want to really kind of stack it a little bit. And now I'm going to pour the rest on top. And i probably use the whole thing. And that's fine. Hi, I am back now. And I have been gone for many hours. And this is what we got going on. Our ribs are looking pretty good almost done. Let me see if I can flip this thing around so you can see. Now you can see what I have done. 
I add a little bit of water because it was getting a little bit too cooked too fast. So, and I slowed it down a little bit. Um, my crock pot's pretty hot, so I guess it depends on your crock pot. So, but I was almost six hours, almost six hours. And I am putting mushrooms and onions together with it. And I sauteed them and cooked them a little bit. And I'm making corn. So I'm going to show you how I take the peels off. I just plop it in hot water and let it boil and cook. And I will show you why I do it this way when I come back. Thank you. Okay, the corn is done. Dinner is ready. I just wanted to show you how I do the corn. Um, I just cook it in its husk. And then when it's finished, I take the ends off, the fatter end. And what I'm going to do is I take a glove or, or a cloth or something so I don't burn myself. And I'm going to cover it. Hopefully you can see it, see? And I push it out or I shake it. And it'll come right out. Just like so. And the nice thing about it, there we go, it is out. And the nice thing about it, you don't have to peel it, you don't have to do anything and get all the strings off or anything like that. It works really good. I wish I had known this a long time ago. and. But I do now, so I do it all the time. And I'm getting better at it too. It takes a little practice, but not bad. So, there, and see, it plops right out. There you go. And then your corn is ready. Now I'm getting ready to put everything on a plate, so I want you to see how the end result is. And whew, we got a nice big piece here. And it's just all falling off the bones, just like you want. And this is going to be Shea Bear's dinner. So I give him the big piece. He needs more than I do. And we got some mushrooms that we're going to add to it, too. And that is about it for my ribs and my corn. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed my recipe, and I hope you come back and see me sometime, and um, hopefully I'll have something different. I want to do my closet, so I'm working on that one, and then I'll put a video together about what I do for my closet. I just want to say bye. The monkey's out. Enjoy your day. Thank you. Bye.